20 people working on this, laser focused on Fox G1. And that, that's an extraordinary thing in and of itself. The lab is state of the art. These children are a great gift, but with incredible challenges as parents and grandparents and family members. We're all looking for ways to create better lives for, for these kids. And you know, I've seen firsthand here what these people are doing and it's on the cutting edge of science. And it's very real, it's very practical, it's very tangible, and you can see a path to, to therapies, not 10 years from now, but much, much sooner. There's a hopeful message for everybody. So we want to find the cure for FOXG1 syndrome. And one way to approach this problem is to restore the level of FOXG1 protein that are insufficient in you know, FOXG1 syndrome children. So that's what we precisely uh, did using gene therapy vector. So that means that we can take this to human clinical trials and try to uh, fix the issues in human Parkinson's syndrome patients. Our daughter, Yuna, was born with Parkinson's syndrome, which actually uh, you know, is, is a disorder for improper development of the brain. Both myself and my wife, Sue, immediately started working for finding a cure. It took years for me to be able to say this, but the pieces of evidence that we have collected for years now give me enough materials to say that, okay, we are here based on this data. I believe that we'll be able to find a better, much better treatment options for Box one syndrome. And this is a lot better than when we started our journey of finding Box one cure. I feel incredibly energized and I want to deliver that energy and that hope. Science will continue to drive this, this path, but we are in a good place to map out this roadmap for getting us into and through clinical trials. And that's very exciting. What we want is a, is a meaningful change in quality of life, right? I think that there's hope for that. We are so fortunate that the Lee Lab at the University of Buffalo is solely focused on Fox G1 syndrome. That is so unique in rare disease, especially in neurological diseases, to have a lab of this size focused solely on our neurological condition is incredible. I'm Josie's mom, Dr. Sue Lee and Jay Lee, they are Yuna's parents. Tom and Janet are grandparents to Gianna. And just seeing how invested this team at this lab is into finding solutions. They're doing this with the lens of parents. The safety, the efficacy, this is their top priority. We are a community of Fox G1 parents being led by Fox G1 parents to the clinic. And that is unlike anything that I've seen in this space.